I'm Jill Meadows from the Huntington YMCA. Today we will be working on a balancing pose. We're actually going to be opening up the quads, hamstrings, um, as well as standing on one foot. Um, so for today, you will need the yoga block um, in case in our forward fold you can't touch the floor. This is our Vanna White for yoga. Remember, you've got three heights. She is here to assist you. Fall, side, flat, okay? If you do not have a yoga block, you can take a pillow, you can take a thick book, something that just simply elevates the floor, okay? Don't think of a yoga block as cheating. Think of it as helping you with your practice. Think of it as elevating the floor, okay? Also, you will need a yoga strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a tie, you can use a rope, you can use a bungee cord, anything um, that's like this, okay? Something, if it's stretchy, you don't want it to be too stretchy because you do want to have something that has resistance, okay? So let's go ahead and start coming to the top of your mat your big toes together, heels slightly apart. And as you exhale, float the hands to the heart into Anjali Mudra. Nice deep inhale, slightly drawing those shoulders back, allow your heart center to open. As you exhale, go ahead and feel the big toes pressing into the floor, activating the arches of the feet. Inhaling, floating your palms, gaze, heart center up. And as you exhale, float the hands to the heart twice more. Inhale, so pressing down through the soles of the feet as we float those fingertips up, palms pressing together, exhale, hands to the heart. One last time, inhaling palms all the way up. Reaching out through those fingertips, exhale, hands to the heart. Nice deep inhale, exhale. So starting with just a nice, easy sun salutation. Inhaling, floating your palms, gaze, heart center up. And as we exhale, you're gonna slowly bow it forward. Work those hands to wherever they need to go. So maybe it's below, uh, sorry, above, below the ankles, fingertips, eventually palms to the floor. If that's not happening and you wanna use Vanna, grab her. As you exhale, we're gonna look between those knees. So notice the crown of the head releases towards the floor. Take an inhale, rock that weight forward so that you're not sinking in the heels. And as you exhale, see if you can lengthen the spine. This is when you might notice you need to adjust that block or maybe even move that block to the side, releasing fingertips to the floor. Take an inhale, come to your flat back. As you exhale, work your hands to the hips. Draw the shoulders, elbows back as you inhale, float the heart center all the way up. And exhale, release your gaze forward, float the hands to the heart. Adding on, inhaling, floating your palms, gaze, heart center up. And as you exhale, slowly bow it forward. Working those hands, if you need to grab that block, go ahead and do it. Take an inhale, come to your flat back. And as you exhale, go ahead and gently bend the knees. Working your palms to the floor, slide that right foot back. Lift your hips up, palms pressing into the floor, slide that left foot back. So you can stay in this plank where you can drop the knees, float the feet up. Don't think of this as cheating. Think of this as making it more accessible for you. Remember your chaturanga is a hard pose. Take an inhale, work those shoulders away from the ears. As you exhale, without splaying those elbows out, you're gonna keep hugging them in, you're gonna bend those elbows in. So again, don't hug, don't release them out. Hug them in. Take an inhale. You're gonna release the tops of the feet to the floor. Either coming to your up dog or tops of the feet pressing down. Inhale, straighten those legs for your up dog. Drop the knees. Tuck the toes under. Take an inhale, float those knees. So you're gonna to come to a slight hovering tabletop. And as you exhale, push the floor away to that modified down dog. As you inhale, straighten those legs. So, 
Walk those feet slightly forward to help release those heels to the floor if that's not happening. Go ahead, keep those heels slightly off the floor. Now as you exhale, push the floor away. This is your modified down dog. Take an inhale every time, work on straightening those legs. If you notice those shoulders shifting forward, keep pushing the floor away, make that modification. Take an inhale here as you exhale. Bend the knees, look between your palms, walk the feet forward. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. If those feet can't come forward, walk your hands back to release the heels. Take an inhale, straighten those legs, come to flat back. Exhale, forward fold, looking between the knees, gently bend those knees. Take an inhale, slowly round it all the way up. Floating your palms, gaze, heart center up. And exhale, hands to the heart, twice more. Inhaling, palms all the way up. And exhale, bowing it forward. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale to your forward fold. Bend those knees, slide your right foot back. Palms to the floor, slide your left foot back. So before we move into your chaturanga, make sure your palms are shoulder width apart. Look at your fingertips, spread those fingertips out. Take a moment as you exhale, look at your feet. Make sure those feet are hip width apart. Make sure your heels aren't sickly now, but that they're also in alignment. So take an inhale, drop those knees if you have to, as you exhale, chaturanga down. Inhaling, up dog, or to your cobra. Drop the knees, tuck the toes under, inhaling to your hovering tabletop. Exhale to that modified down dog. So palms push the floor away, shift those shoulders back, inhale, straight the legs. Staying here for a couple of breaths. So the challenge in yoga is finding stillness. If you need to make adjustments, moving those feet forward, keep those knees slightly bent, go ahead and do that. As you exhale, bend those knees, look between the palms, walk, lunge, jump the feet forward. Big toes together, feel slightly apart as we inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, slowly rising all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart. One last time. Inhaling, palms all the way up. And exhale, bowing it forward. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees, slide your right foot back. Palms to the floor, slide your left foot back. Taking an inhale in this plank. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Drop those knees, tuck the toes under. Float it, inhale to that hovering tabletop. Modify down dog as you exhale. Inhale, so as you work on straightening those legs, do not move the shoulders forward. The moment you straighten those legs and the shoulders start to move forward is where your edge is. So find where your edge is. Maybe this is where you need to be today, or maybe you're having a great day and those heels work all the way to the floor. So staying here, inhale. If those heels are released to the floor, those legs are straight, make sure you are supporting those knees by engaging your quads. Take an exhale, bend those knees, look between the hands, walk, lunge, jump the feet forward, big toes together, heels slightly apart as we inhale to flat back, and exhale, forward fold. Gently bend the knees, inhale, round it all the way up, floating your palms, gaze, heart center up, and exhale, hands to the heart. Go ahead, release those hands to the hips, Inhale, rotate your heels out. Exhale, your toes out. So go ahead, grab your yoga strap. And go ahead, release that strap to your left foot, okay? So if you've got short legs like me, you'll have to wrap the strap around your hands a couple of times. If you've got really long legs, you might need to have it completely lengthened out. So shift the weight to your right foot, inhale that left knee up, and we're gonna go ahead and shorten that strap, okay? So stay here. Work the insides of the elbows to face up. This is a great way to get some arm work. 
as you inhale, reach that heel forward. So look here, you can keep that straight. You can work on straightening that leg by extending. You might have to loosen that strap. So lots of options here. But who would think coming back after grade school, having to stand on one foot, and notice how challenging it is. So take an inhale, float that knee back up, shortening that strap, softening through that left hip, and as you exhale, with control, slowly float it back to the floor. So also notice how your standing leg does a lot of work. If you walk a lot, if you are a runner, this is actually a great exercise to do. If you have plantar fasciitis, these are great exercises. You're strengthening the muscles in the feet. You're also stretching it. So part of plantar fasciitis is that you have inflammation of that fascia, as well as compression in the nerves of the feet. Stretching it out, just like when we did our seated pigeon pose, releasing that sciatic pain does the same thing for your feet, okay? So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Releasing that strap to the ball of your right foot. Again, feet hip width apart. Shift the weight to your left foot. Using that core strength, inhale. Float it up, shorten that strap. Keeping the insides of the elbows facing up, okay? So again, you're gonna notice that you have strength in the arms. With that inhale, keeping that right foot flex, we're gonna reach that heel forward. So maybe this is what you need for today. Maybe you just wanna keep working on extending that leg, or maybe you wanna keep that leg completely lengthened out. Notice how it changes when you completely lengthen that leg out, it engages the quad. So drishti, gaze is so important in this. Notice that when I look down, how my shoulders round over. Your gaze, your drishti should be slightly up. Notice how now my body is in alignment. Crown of the head over the shoulders, shoulders over that standing foot. As you exhale, draw those shoulders back. Take an inhale, float that knee back to the chest, keeping the insides of the elbows facing up. As you exhale with control, slowly float it down. Again, shake out that standing leg. It does a lot of work. Okay, so you have the option to stay here on the next progression or follow us with this next progression. Now, this is gonna be very challenging because it changes your center. You're gonna move on that exhale. Remember what I said before? Press down to lift up. Your standing foot is gonna be pressing down so that we can keep the upper body lifted, okay? So go ahead, release that strap back to your left foot. Shift the weight to your right foot. Inhale that left knee up, shortening that strap. So stay here, inside the elbows facing up. With your next inhale, we're gonna extend that leg. Again, if you've got short legs like me, it's really easy to extend that leg all the way forward. Longer leg people, this is challenging for you. So you can stay here, working on reaching that heel forward. So don't be like me, don't lift that hip up. Think of squeezing your inner thighs together to square off those hips. Again, you can stay here or you're gonna exhale, reach the chest forward. So notice you're gonna shorten that strap every time and exhale round over. Also notice, don't let that extended leg drop, okay? So you're using your arm strength to keep that extended le leg up. One last time, exhale, release it forward. Take an inhale all the way up. Exhale slowly with control, reaching out through that heel, release it all the way down. Shake out your standing leg. So eventually, you're gonna be having that leg extended with the forehead all the way. Eventually, you'll do it without the strap. Today, we're gonna to be using just the strap. Okay, so coming to the other side, 
Standing with your feet hip width apart, shifting the weight to your left foot. Inhale that right knee up, shortening the strap. So you might need to play around with that. For me, I have to shorten it a lot. With that inhale, insides of the elbows facing up, releasing that heel forward. Exhale, pulling on that strap. Great thing about pulling on that strap is that it also helps us to lengthen that spine. Actively flexing your toes back. So maybe this is all you need for today. This is your challenge. Otherwise, as you exhale, you're gonna lean forward. Still pulling on that strap. Still working those biceps, keeping shoulders away. Staying here if you want to, or you're gonna exhale, release it forward. So remember, press down through your standing foot to lift up. One more time, exhale, lean forward. With that inhale, draw the shoulders back. As you exhale with control, slowly lower that extended leg, reaching out through the heel. Go ahead, shake it out. And releasing that strap. Let's go ahead and just take one last vinyasa to close out the practice. Inhaling palms all the way up. This time as you exhale, swan dive it forward, nice and easy. Take an inhale, come to your flat back. Exhale, release into that forward fold, bending those knees. Slide your right foot back, working your palms to the floor. Slide your left foot back. Inhaling in this plank, drop those knees if you have to. Exhale, chaturanga down, hugging those elbows in. Inhaling either to your cobra or to your up dog. Drop the knees, tuck the toes under. Inhale it to that hovering tabletop. Exhale, push the floor away to that modified down dog. Take an inhale, straighten those legs. So let's go ahead and walk the dog. Pedal those feet, add that twist if your lower back is sore and it's talking to you. And as you exhale, release those heels to the floor. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bend the knees, look between the palms. Nice and easy this time, walk the feet forward. Again, if those feet can't come forward, walk the hands back to release the heels to the floor. Take an inhale to your flat back, exhale, forward fold. Gently bend the knees, take an inhale, slowly round it all the way up. And as you exhale, float the hands to the heart. And just taking a moment, reconnecting with that breath. So you're gonna notice, even though we did a standing pose, your heart rate might be a little bit higher. You might notice that you're breathing a little bit harder. So you don't have to be doing all this running around to get your heart rate going. You can simply do yoga. So again, thank you so much for sharing the practice and have a wonderful day. <laughs>